Facebook, or Meta, are making huge changes to the way we set up our advertising campaigns. They're calling it ODAX, or Outcome Driven Ad Experiences. But take away that fancy name, and essentially what they're doing is they're completely changing the campaign objectives that we see when we go to set up an ad campaign. Now obviously this is a big change, so in this video I'm going to walk you through the impacts it's going to have on advertisers, and what you need to change inside your ad account once this change rolls out to you. That includes which objectives you're going to need to use once this change rolls out to your account compared to the ones you're currently using. And now I say once this rolls out to your account because this has been rolling out for a while since the beginning of 2022, but it's still not in all accounts and it won't be in everyone's account until Q3 2022. So if you don't see it yet, just know that it is coming and you will see it pop up in your account sometime soon. Essentially, ODAX is just a consolidation of the existing 11 Facebook ad campaign objectives down to just six. You can see exactly how they are changing in this graphic from Meta. Brand awareness, reach, and views are being rolled down into a single awareness objective. Video views, messages, and conversions are all being rolled into an engagement objective. Messages and conversions roll into the new leads objective. Conversions, catalog sales, and store traffic all roll into the new conversion objective. And traffic and app installs essentially stay the same. Now you're probably worried about potentially losing functionality as a result of this change, particularly if some of those objectives that I just mentioned are actually disappearing as part of the consolidation. But the good news is we're not actually losing anything as part of this change. All the functionality will still remain there, it just changes the way we set things up. To show you what I mean here, let's use video views as an example. So you can see that actually in the new structure it's going to fall under two different campaign objectives, but I'm going to use engagement for this particular setup. Now engagement by definition could be many things, so what we can actually do is when we set this up, we choose engagement, then at the ad set level, we can actually specify what type of engagement that we want. So you can see, first of all, we can choose where we want to drive the engagement, whether it's on our ad, inside a messaging app, on our website, or on our Facebook page. From there, you can choose the engagement type. So as you can see here, we've got video views, post engagement, or event responses. In this case, if I wanted to drive video views, I would simply choose video views. And then as we had previously, we can still go down here to the optimization and delivery section and choose whether we want to optimize for a through play or a two second continuous video view. As you can see there, this isn't about giving Facebook more control to kind of do whatever it wants and take away control from the advertiser. We still have a high level of granularity in terms of being able to specify exactly what we want here. And I think that's a good thing. Now another example, if I wanted to create a reach campaign like I currently do, I can simply choose the awareness objective and then at the ad set level, I can tell it that I want to optimize for reach. And that is just like running a reach campaign in the current setup. Now when it comes to leads and sales, that's where things get a little interesting and it might not be as crystal clear in terms of exactly what the best setup is going to be there. So let me walk you through all of that. But before I do, I wanna take just a quick second to talk about this week's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who wants to learn new skills, whether that be for personal or business growth. There are courses on Skillshare for almost anything. If there's a new skill that you're interested in learning, then Skillshare is the best place to start. Whether you want to learn graphic design, video editing, copywriting, productivity, or pretty much anything you can think of, there is a class on Skillshare that is going to help you. Recently, I've been really focused on trying to learn SEO for one of our businesses where we're trying to increase blog traffic. One of the first things I did was head over to Skillshare and do a search for SEO. I ended up choosing a class called Introduction to SEO, Tactics and Strategy for Entrepreneurs by Rand Fishkin. Rand is a world-renowned expert in SEO. Now that's one thing I love about Skillshare. You get to learn from the very best and the information is of the absolute highest quality, which is fantastic and really important for any new skill. Now the good news is the first 1,000 people that use my link in the description to sign up or sign up using my code Andrew Hubbard, we'll get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So make sure you go ahead and check that out after you watch this video. Okay, so let's talk about the leads and sales events because they're most likely the ones you're going to be using most often. Now, one thing you'll notice when we create a new campaign and we choose the new leads objective, the events that we're actually able to optimize for at the ad set level are limited. And that is something that didn't happen previously with our conversions campaign setup. So if we go here, you can see we can choose complete registration, contact, lead, schedule, or a bunch of others. But grayed out are things like purchase, initiate checkout, 
and a series of others. So what this is now doing is it's limiting the conversion events we can choose to optimize for at the ad set level to those that line up with our campaign objective that we've chosen, which is leads. If we hover over purchase, you can actually see that it gives us a message that says, this event is only available if we're using the sales objective. Now this is really interesting and quite frankly, I think it's a great idea because it simplifies the selections for particularly new Facebook advertisers. It makes the whole process easier by giving a little bit of guidance in the right direction. And what you'll notice is if we create a sales campaign now and we go down to the ad set level, we actually can only select a different subset of conversion events now. We can select purchase, initiate checkout and a series of others. We can't select lead or any of those other events that we could previously select under the lead campaign objective. So my advice is always select the campaign objective that matches closest to what you're actually trying to achieve with your ads. So if it's purchases, then choose sales. If you want leads, choose leads. And these new rules and this new setup actually forces you to do that. Again, which I think is great. Now, another thing I've heard people say is that with ODAX and this new structure, it might actually help improve performance as well because by limiting the conversion events that you can choose based on the objective, it's actually going to give Facebook better, cleaner data and allow the algorithm to work in a more optimized way. Now, Facebook haven't said that and I've seen no evidence to point towards that. So I'm not going to put too much faith or hope in that just yet. I think it would be great if it did happen, but I don't know if it will. What I will say is that overall, I think this is actually a positive change. I think it simplifies the process for everyone, new beginners to experienced advertisers without taking away any of the functionality that we're used to or that we actually require to be successful. And I am most excited about that potential for performance improvement. But as I said, I'm not banking on that. If you want better performance, a better way to do that rather than holding your breath waiting for Facebook to make drastic changes to their backend is to actually work on your Facebook ad copy. Check out this video next to learn how to dramatically improve your copywriting skills on your ads, even if you're not a pro copywriter, even if you've got no idea, this will make a huge difference. So check that video out next. Hope you've enjoyed this one. I'll see you next time. Bye.